Okay, hi Sahara, nice of you to join us again. So we spoke a couple of weeks ago now, uh, just talking about what happened to you and your case. And uh, would you like to give an update to everybody about what, what's happened? Yes, um, so unfortunately, after, uh, you know, trying to get this case adjourned, the doctor had written two very strongly worded letters saying that I was in no fit state to stand for trial. Unfortunately, the judge said that unless I could get the doctor there the next day, the judge would not consider adjourning the trial. Um, the doctor was extremely shocked when I went to her and told her, and she said in over 20 years, she had never had that request, that in over 20 years, as far as she knew, every time she'd written these letters and she's written, you know, she, uh, she said she can't remember how many she's written, but huge numbers. She's never had a judge not adhere to the doctor's orders. And so I was just completely unprepared. I, I really did think that we would get it adjourned. Um, and it, it was, you know, I was just uh, like a, a rabbit caught in the headlights. Um, I was found guilty after eight grueling days. And now there's going to be the sentence on Friday, the 11th of February, 9 a.m. in the morning, um, for which I'm requesting that people please come and show me support, not just for me, but for the sake of all our freedom of speech. Yeah, did you want to just give us a quick reminder in case anyone's seeing just this video, they haven't seen the previous one, what actually they're trying to turn to do you for? So they're doing me for two obscure, uncharacteristic Facebook posts hidden away. They're not posts. They were, a post is a main thing. And uh, underneath a post you get comments. And then some, some people will reply to those comments, which are completely hidden. So one of them is about Grenfell Fire being compared to 9-11, uh, where both in both cases, um, people were burnt alive. And that's why they have uh, rejected two doctor's letters. So that, you know, why would they be so adamant that we can't adjourn a court case? It's not like I'm, I've committed a violent act. I haven't, you know, raped anyone, murdered anyone, you know, hit anyone. This is related to some, something five years ago. And uh, even according to them, I've done nothing since then in the way they've handled this whole thing. It does, to me, I'm just feeling like you've just ruffled some feathers somewhere and they're, they're obviously scared and they just had to, like say, do all of these terrible, terrible things to, to try and break your spirit. Have you tried any, I don't know, anything like meditation or anything like that to maybe take the edge off of some of that? Oh yeah, um, I, I mean, I wouldn't have got this far without meditation and praying and yeah. going inwards. Um, so one thing that has come out has been that at a spiritual level, I do have such a, a, a powerful relationship with my creator. So one rabbi got hold of my telephone number uh, and he's been calling me all the way from New York. Really? And wow. Yeah, yeah. And then he's put me into contact with a rabbi in London. And I've had a meeting with him and a few of my Jewish friends. And, you know, they're mortified. They're absolutely horrified at how I uh, how I'm being treated. And they've written a really amazing letter in support of me. And how, you know, how dare are you? Is that available to for the public to see? that letter um I, I i'll get their permission well facebook is a, a a big trap but you know we've got social media and lots of other platforms what do we do you know do we censor ourselves or, or do we stand up that's a good freedom? point yeah absolutely just yeah, it's good to flip it on its head right yeah and uh well it's good to chat with you tahara and for sure we'll i'll keep as much of an eye as I can and you know if you ever want to do another interview and talk about what's going on just just reach out and we can do another one thank you very much Travis thank you good luck
Thank you.